And guys, we know this is a difficult time for a lot of people, physically, emotionally, and financially for a lot of people. That's why we brought on financial expert Randy Weishi, answering all of your questions regarding finances during this pandemic. Randy, good to see you again. Good morning, Chiba. I'm liking the bow tie. Adds to the expertise. So let's jump into I these questions. You. Can fool people. There you go. No, you got all the answers. All right, our first question is from someone asking about their daughter who turned 19 in November of 2019. I claimed her on my taxes for 2019. I did not get a $500 stimulus payment for her. She's no longer in my dependent. When she tried to get stimulus money, she was told that she can't because she was claimed as my dependent. Should I expect I'll eventually get $500 for her? Um, that's a that's a complicated question. So let me try to answer it as best I can. One, she has to qualify as a dependent under the stimulus program, and given the profile that you just described, probably not. However, if um, if they want to amend their 19, 2019 tax returns, do it through the ten forty X. Explain why you're making the change, and then it's possible they could get them $500 on the second round of payments. They won't get it on the first round. Okay, that's a complicated one, so hopefully that helps. Thanks, Randy. The next question is, my tenant's income has been impacted. Do I qualify for stimulus or SBA loan help because they can't pay rent right now? The qualifications for the stimulus grant uh, has nothing to do with whether or not you're a tenant or not, or a landlord or not. So that, that the likelihood, if you qualify, you'll get it. Now, more to the point, there's a number of SBA programs that they do qualify. First, they will qualify for the CARES Act PPP program, Paycheck Protection Program. There's also an economic injury disaster lease program. And there's lastly an economic injury and disaster loan program and loan assistance through the SBA. So I would encourage this person to be on the phone, look at the websites for the SBA. There's likely a program that'll help her out. And that's good that there's options for that because we were just talking about people this morning who can't pay their rent. On the other side of that, we yes. got to think about the owners who are dependent on that money as well. So at work, I've had to deal with this a good deal. Yeah, on both sides. Exactly. I'd imagine that's a problem on both sides. All right, Randy, our last question for this segment is asking, will I get a stimulus payment if I owe back taxes? I've heard a lot of people ask this one. Um, and that's I can close this segment on a positive note. So, yes, normally the IRS can garnish any payment or that you receive, but the purpose of this stimulus program is to relieve problems, the stress that individuals on, are on. So they have waived that. So if you owe back taxes, you will still get your full stimulus. And my understanding is it's if you owe back child support that you won't get the stimulus. That's the one that you um, will not get it. They, they will take that payment and apply it to the back child support. Gotcha. All right. Thanks so much for the clarification, Randy. Always so and helpful. And I think that's appropriate in both cases. All right. Thanks so much. We appreciate you. And guys, we want you to keep sending in your questions. Randy and his bow tie will be answering those for you all morning long. He'll join us again at 630.